Hello there. Here is my second Simon Says Stamp March card kit card that I made in the Art Deco style. I hope you like it. So here's my plan. Uh, if you want to see this plan a little more up close, view my other video where I talk about it, uh, how I wrote it out ahead of time. Here is my second little drawing I did from the Digi Stamp of the 20s, 30s flapper girl. Um, here I am, I'm gonna color her for you and it's pretty self-explanatory so uh, I don't make any mistakes this time so I'll just color her in here. I'm gonna speed it up and just let you listen to some authentic 20s jazz music in the background. So here I am using some Distress Ink in Scattered Straw and Wild Honey and I just painted on to the flowers in her hat. Here I'm going back to the Copics for the greys in her hat and I'm using a color called BG90 Grey Sky and it's a warmish kind of 
yellowy gray, very light gray. Um, because all my grays are neutral and they end up looking really cool compared to the wild honey, which is very warm. So I ended up, um, the stripes were a little too warm for me, so I just ended up mixing all the grays together for a more cohesive look.
and the monkey, he got drunk, and sat on the elephant trunk. The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees, and that was the end of the monk. So to make the little uh, paper embellishment, the Art Deco style um, flare diamond that you see, um, I just took a thin piece of um, gold metallic paper from Michael's. Um, as you can see, it's uh, metallic and sort of shiny. And I cut it into a three inch by three inch square. And for you to do make this um, at home, you're just going to have to copy what I do in the folds. It's very easy, it's not intimidating, um, and you can sort of make it at any size you want. You can't go too big or too small though, because I, you can't go any smaller than I did because it was already a bit difficult at the size that I did. But So you can see, I just fold it, uh, fold the diamond in half. I'm just using a Copic marker because I don't have a bone folder to score to um, flatten the edges. Then fold that in half to make a triangle. And push down your edges using a bone folder or a Copic marker. And this paper is a bit strange. It's not like normal paper. It's a little thicker. Uh, there's a coating on it so it's kind of hard a bit harder to work with if you're just using like a gold paper it'll be easier but see so yeah, you kind of push your finger into that pocket there and fold it up making um, on the side making a, like a flute edge and uh, you're just gonna have to sort of feel it with your fingers hold the two points at the top and then with your thumb flatten it down um, all the while eyeing it so that you flatten it so that it makes a symmetrical shape because Art Deco was all about symmetry and hard lines and uh, ge geometrical shapes Okay, the next fold, you pull open that other side triangle and you pull it down and out into another diamond the opposite way, just like uh, it looks like a wall sconce would look coming out from the wall. Press it with your right hand between your two forefingers and your thumb and hold it there while you use your left hand to kind of match it with the other tip. And then you can match it with the back diamond that you've already made. Okay, the somewhat tricky part is over. Now you just pull out the front of your diamond shape and Basically, you're going to just do like you would uh, a paper airplane and fold that left side in towards the right and use your bone folder or Copic marker to flatten that out and then do the same thing on the left side, taking care to make sure it's symmetrical. Then the last two folds are you take that smaller fold you just did on the left side or the right side, I'm doing the left side here, and fold it once more over to the left. Again, this paper's tricky because it's, it's almost got a plastic coating on it, so 
Um, you know, when you bend it over, it, it stays round. It doesn't crisply fold right away. So you kind of, I, I found it a bit tricky to do. It wouldn't be so hard with normal paper. And then you do the same thing on the opposite side. And this is where I would take care to try to make sure uh, both sides look equal uh, in size so that it is perfectly symmetrical, just like the Art Deco style. And there you have it, your finished uh, gold embellishment for the front of your card. On to the next part of the card. I've just folded some cardstock in the standard size and I'm just drawing on some pencil lines um, in the Art Deco style uh, that I'll later go over in gold. So I'm just drawing lightly with a pencil, sketching out, um, you know, I have an idea in my head. I did a little test there. You can see the cross with the two dots in it. That's the way I want it to look and the pen seemed to work so I'm like okay I'm gonna go for it uh, so I'm just drawing out the lines um, I don't know how to describe this other than I'm just drawing lines <laughs> connecting them just from my head uh, but you could certainly go and look at a, um, art deco borders on the internet to see what they look like uh, I drew a little diamond at the top and I'm just doing the little squares where they kind of loop around and so I'm coloring it with uh, this sharpie paint marker in a golden metallic and I left this part in because it's a mistake so I'm just using that piece of paper as a ruler and then I slide it and it totally um, smudged across there so I did that and went and got a proper ruler so don't make that mistake learn from what I do and I'm just freehanding this top diamond part the shorter lines I just freehand I kind of like that they're not perfectly straight um, that that makes it look kind of you know more that I did it by hand and it's not a print or anything like that but the longer lines I can't make those straight lines so I do use the ruler you can certainly make this border as simple or as complex as your talent dictates or as your heart desires So here I'm just cutting the paper, um, placing my lady on it and just sort of testing to see how much of that damask I want to show through and trying it on the border to make sure it fits and it does. I'm just using some Tombow adhesive to tape the pieces all together and to put it on the frame.
So I'm just cutting a notch in my gold strip here that I'll glue on the front because what I'm going to do is wrap it around the back and write Handmade by Me on the back. Then when those little triangles fell from when I cut the banner, uh, of course I thought in my mind, hey, those look very Art Deco, and of course I couldn't let them go to waste, so I used them as an extra detail and glued them on the damask part. So I lost the footage of me glue, uh, taping that the banner on, so I don't know what happened there, but my phone stopped recording. So I, I just taped it on with the Tombow glue, wrapped it around the back, and wrote Handmade by me with a heart on the back. And I didn't lose the footage of, you, of me using the perfect pearls this time, so here I am just uh, using them to embellish the flowers on her hat. You could certainly put a pearl necklace on her at this point. I also put it uh, on the gem by the feather in her hat. Here I'm just making another banner and cutting it out uh, because I'm going to put that on the inside. Again, uh, the triangles that fell out of the banner, I thought, oh, well, those are useful. I might, those sort of tie in and give some continuity to of the theme to the card, so I'll put them on the inside with a little pop of yellow. There I'm just showing you could make a sentiment, you could write it in a big gold lettering over that banner, um, and you could also use the thanks or the Simon Says stamp, stamps and stamp that on the banner and the inside. Here I'm using a, a sparkly jelly pen from Sakura. Uh, you can certainly use embossing power on her feather. Um, I just wanted some sparkle in that feather. I mean, come on now, I have to have sparkle in that feather. I'm just adding that detail for a little bit of subtle sparkle. And there's the finished card, including the back and the inside, ready for when I want to write a greeting or stamp something in there. And uh, I hope you like this card and got some inspiration from it. You can take any elements you want. Um, I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a like and sub to my channel. Thanks for watching. Stayed home nights, didn't dance, wasn't taking any